content. Hey, welcome back to the community for all of us. And we're here in Greenville, South Carolina at the Greenville um, Pop Expo. And we're here for two days. Today is Saturday, November 12th. 13th. 13th and tomorrow is Sunday November 14th and today it goes from 10 p.m. to about 4 p.m. so we're here uh, Derek's going to do some sketches we're going to hopefully get out the button makers so people can make buttons if they want to and we want you to see the convention we're hoping that we're going to have a great turnout so there's lots of stuff to see all right thank you baby girl and I'll be on my way and there's Nick so one thing I definitely want to show is what we got right here. Yeah, the 3D print. These things look awesome. And uh, beyond the Outlook, I will be doing a Pokemon. Monsters, villains, some of the lightsabers, this one group, arcanes. But yeah, there, there's not a single license on it, just a bit As you can see, full stickers. Ooh, Autobots Decepticons. That might have to come home with me. See, we have a He Man. Gosh, that would be cool. Okay, my phone. Yeah, here at Pop Expo, this is where you can pretty much find anything in your geekdom. Where you would just be awesome, entertained, grateful. Got comic books also. Very cool. Maybe take a look at those a little bit later. Big old poster boards. Which is cool. Cards. And you can't forget your pops. Here is your pops. So old. All of them are long before you pop. And sent it to you. Oh, look at the child. How you doing, Nice Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I am walking around and checking out things. Where could they find you? Where can they find you online or through store? Uh, we actually have where we've got a Facebook group that's Froggy Toyland, okay. and the website is froggytoyland.com. Froggytoyland.com. Based out of Lawrence, South Carolina. Nice. And if you want to take a screenshot of even the card, too. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. No, no, some of them fell off, yeah. but that's got all the info on it there. And I'm going to take one of those, okay? This is for y'all to come check fine. him out. I'll be walking around, but like, all like I said, they got he's got Grimlock, which I'm going to be eyeballing. He's got Grimlock, and my wife loves the My Little Pony, and that one's scented, so I may be coming back for that one right there. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. Thank you. I'll put this up, make a link for it.
very nice. Oh my gosh, 8 bit. There's that. Oh, one Punch Man. Squirtle. Oh, Sailor Moon. Dragon Ball Z. I'm, all, I'm doing some filming for Officer Richard. Is, would you like to share where they can find your stuff? Um, uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook, 8 uh, Bit Perler Art. Okay. And, uh, Thank you. Card? Here's his card. I'll have links down below so y'all can check out the stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you much. This will be on YouTube and podcast. Awesome. The community for all of us. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. So, yes. Very, very cool. We even have food. They didn't leave out the food. That's what I was like, what? We got food? So, right now, I'm walking around. Let y'all see the show. This guy here is a publisher, just like Autocrat Primer and us. Uh, you know, Bitter T Media, we're also publishers. But look us, being smart and giving these cards to the beautiful brains behind the outfit so that we can put those links down below yeah me too i might want to get he's got a book he's got a book that i might want to get it's called demon hunter it looks really good oh if you got ten dollars i want to get you something i just need ten dollars huh yeah it's with y'all she doesn't know what it's going to be. Give me 15 total just to make sure I read the right sign. Yep, there it is. Like I said, they've got everything. you got cosplayers over here. This is absolutely amazing. Now we're going to get this. Y'all know what I'm going to get, right? You know what I'm going to get. You're going to be surprised. How excited y'all think? Let's, let's take a chance. How, how excited do you think the wife is going to be? For this thing right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to come back and get this for the wife. I have to come back and get this My Little Pony for my wife. I think that's a sentence one too. It is. That's why I was like, definitely got to walk out. Is it is it a ten or is it the fifteen? Is it ten? Awesome. Oh, he's gonna put it in a bag, everything. It's gonna be a big surprise. Thank you so much, sir. I'll give you one of our flyers too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, sir. More signs. Wonder Woman. I love the Pokemon Death Star. Look at that. Pokemon Ball Death Star. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. And yes, if you can smell it, you can smell some good, good cooking. Good cooking. Yeah. So let's see how excited she's going to be when she sees this. I even got it put in a black bag so she doesn't know. See, black bag. I see. Does that mean I get to open it now? You get to open it now. Let's see how excited she's going to be. Oh, she's so cute. And it's scented. Look at her, I told y'all. Oh my goodness. How's it smell? It smells like cotton candy, which is what her name is. Oh, they, she does smell like That's cotton candy. There you cool go, baby gimmick. girl. I like that a lot. That was for you. It smells so good, thank you. You're welcome, baby. We're going to walk around a little bit. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some very cool books. Definitely want to know how much this was going to be. I'm now starting to write more. That was cool. That's the whole thing? 
Yeah, it's, uh, if you got any chihuahuas that you need yeah. coming, that'll do it. Awesome. <laughs> no, I got my. I, I did see your book here, that right, right there, because I got the little kitty back there. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, it's got two different covers. Very cool. How much is the book? Uh, the unlimited edition is 80. Is what now? 80. 80? Okay. And then that is the limited edition. It's limited to 250 copies ever, and it's 125. Gotcha. I'll probably be coming back and around. That, those collect the first three of the Quincy Harker books. Yeah, that's what I saw, and I was like... And really, if you were buying these three individually, it would be 90. Right. So the collection is a little bit of a savings over buying them individually the limited edition is not a savings over a goddamn thing God. well <laughs> tell us a little edition. bit about yourself this is... so i'm john hartness i'm the founder and publisher of falstaff books i write multiple series the quincy harker demon hunter series the Bubba the monster hunter series as well as the black knight chronicles and I'm a cast member of the live play D&D podcast, Authors and Dragons, oh. which is where our Chronicles of Calamity comic book Very came nice. from. I've been trying to figure out where I should assign this when someone buys it, because I didn't write it. I didn't draw it. I didn't letter it. Wait. I'm just in it. See? <laughs> because I created one of the characters, and these are the adventures <coughs> that our D&D group goes on. Well, I'll tell you what... Um... Oh, wait a second, what's her name? Let me ask my wife, she's better at this. Nikki, Nikki, who was it that signed your, uh, your, uh, your book that was the Hello of uh, the Kitties, or? She signed it on every page. Oh. <laughs> Real, or Dawson. Okay. Yeah. I'm not signing it on every page. No, but you <laughs> could sign it on the side that has your first picture. I've usually just been signing it over my, because my character is Fandingo, the fantastical, oh, yeah. the bard. Oh yeah, sign it right there. So I've been signing it over his codpiece. There you go, absolutely. Because he's a bard, so very that's nice. What he's doing most of his thinking with. Very nice. I'll be coming back around. I'll be here. Appreciate it. All right, you want to get that? Yeah. So uh, yeah. there we have some of that. We got some comics over here. Hey, right here. Very cool. Comic book issues, you know, I'll be having to go through to see if I see any spawns. Got some Sailor Moon stuff. Ah, oh, look, Naruto. Death Note. Very nice. Oh, here it is, Dragon Ball Z, the bane of my wife's existence. We also got some cool masks up there. Oh, Among Us. Very cool. Very cool. And Star Wars. Very nice. And as we're going through and looking around, I ended up in this one. Very nice. Hi, sir. How y'all doing? doing? You're groovy. I am. Fun. What you eyeballing over here? I was looking at a. Uh, he had a. Technically, he had a. Technically, back four hundred up here. Oh. Um, the first appearance of Man Bat. Mm-hmm. Um, I just forgot where it was. I was gonna look at it. Oh, that's awesome. But you still, yeah. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I, I'm the same way. I'm like, if I, whatever I find here, I'll be extremely excited. I found something for Nikki. I found her a My Little Pony that smelled like cotton candy. Oh. Um. I told her. I'm gonna tell you. I I quite enjoy the uh, videos and the pictures of the um, the toys when you go to the Oh. Because uh, it makes me want to go buy Transformers now again, <laughs> which is a problem because I don't. I, it's it's. Auburn pulled me back into Pokemon. 
Yep. You know, I never left this. Yep. Um, and then I'm getting like certain, like now Marvel Legends has pulled me back in with like Age of Apocalypse and some of those sets. So now I'm like, and then I saw, uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if, if somebody showed me, like it wasn't, it was a random link or something, but it's all the, a bunch of the, uh, that are coming out that it's, uh, I think they're like from the Bumblebee movie. It sounds yes. a little stupid. Yep. But, uh, no, it's, it's going to be the studio series. You're going to get uh, Ratchet. You're going to get, uh, Oh gosh. Yeah. Wasn't there a sound wave in that? Yep. I saw those and I was like, those look awesome. And then I'm like, I don't know how much those are going to be. Uh, between 20 and 30. Okay. Talk to me that because then I can afford them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've so already got the them pre ordered. So yeah. I The only thing that hurt my heart, and I didn't know that it was going to be a, um, supposed to be like a San Diego online order, like Comic Con thing, is I wanted the um, skull glow for the new. Master of the Universe cartoon. Yes. And that's, that's awesome. But now I'm not paying $200 for a $30 cartoon. No. I can't afford it. Well, I, I surprised Nikki because they, uh, Hasbro had a uh, their own little con, which was online, and I actually got uh, her uh, Zartan. It turns blue. And her birthday's next week, but she's already found it. And I was like, that's your birthday present. She's like, oh my God. She's like, I just wanted something that I love. Thank you. Yep. So, well, you're going to hate it then. You're going to see me going into the He-Man figures, the newer ones. I got a great deal on the whole first wave. And I was like, those figures are magnificent. I, I love the, the new cartoon for the Blue Man, or the uh, Boss Man. Yeah. With like the... Like yes. <laughs> he has parts to uh, come off, and actually, he has those tentacles that you add to him. So you can have him where he's standing. He's got the tentacles will reach out. You can have it where it's wrapped around somebody. They're a little stiff, yeah. but you can have it where it's like they it go around the shoulder or something like this. But yeah, you can get him in post. He stands up absolutely perfect because they gave him wood feet. Yeah. They look at feet, but it looks like tree roots. So he's not losing any anything so when he stands he can get him in any pose he stands perfect yeah so you don't see that's how far like i walked through target the other day and they had all four in the shop and i was like and i saw the battle cat too i got the battle cat the other day that's why we named the new cat granger we were like hey it's, it's a he-man day so we went, I got a new kitty we're going to name it granger we got the battle cat the same day and the battle cat is balanced they're all balanced perfect I mean, literally, you get them in the pose, and I don't know how Mattel did it because Hasbro's repulse has always had Hasbro's always had issues with the uh, the legends yeah. being able to stand up and be too tough headed. I don't know what Mattel's done and their how they balance it, but you can have He-Man holding his sword up, and it looks like he's saying the power of Grey Skull. Um, are they gonna make a stinger with the Star Wars? Yes. Um, and Mattel's also going to be pushing, it's going to, the, the line is going to be considered Masters of the Universe, and they're going to cover everything in Maddie Collector. Yeah. But with updates. And the Four Horsemen, um, they have come. They're actually the ones that have designed the ones that uh, we're seeing coming out. They designed the, uh, there was four designers, and the one that uh, Mattel said did the best sales, and they did um, the... Uh, Moss Man. Because I got their Moss Man from the Maddie Collector. And I was like, I didn't think there was going to be another figure. And even though if it was flopped, yeah. I think it would have been better than one from, from there, from the Maddie Collector. If it was flopped, that's the only thing it was missing. Yeah. That's beautiful. But those reviews, I'll have those reviews up next week. <laughs> and then you get to eyeball those and let me know what you think. As we are walking, see, you get to even talk to people while you're here. Everyone, anyone, which is awesome. Where you get to run into uh, old friends, make new friends, hang out with old friends. Now you got, hope you're on Fusion Strike. It's very cool. You got the fiber first. Oh, this is awesome. Got Ren, beautiful. Very nice. 
And as I said, you will be surprised at who you see, what you see, and where you see it. Very, very cool. Beautiful artwork. You know, a lot of great. So, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Hey boys. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Very cool. So this gives you the show. We got more guys out here. As you come in, it's different artists, different people that are here. Very cool. Sharks? I love sharks. Shark of course, Jaws meets Robocop. Jaws is the shark or the hero, Robocop is the cop or a shark. He's oh. escaped U.S. military experiment on the loose in the Gulf of Mexico enforcing the law as he sees fit. First three issues are out now. I write and draw it all myself. I'm a greery artist. Oh, very nice. Where can I find your stuff? Um, well, you are you? here, but <laughs> online I, I have a website. You, you do? Know, that you can, uh, Thank you. And I will put this down in the description down below. I'm doing some video stuff for Richard, and I do a podcast. So. Oh, cool. So you yeah. need an interview. Uh, yes. I want to be interviewed. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I definitely will set that up. You going to be here also tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Uh, I got a table here. I'm an artist also. But oh. Yeah, I'll come by, because that's what I told uh, Richard. I was kind of want to get interviews with all you guys. Oh, great. Yeah. Like yeah. That. And then I'll have it edited and put up next week. So I'm going to have to directly go to Facebook and stuff today. Oh, yeah. If you, if you tag me in Facebook, I'll make sure I share it, too. Absolutely. So. I'll do that. Cool. I like it. I do like sharks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love your artwork. Oh, appreciate it. Okay. Sharks look awesome. I, I love the torpedo things on the side. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. I'll definitely have to come back by. Awesome. Thank you. And as you can see, you meet other artists, you meet other people. It's really cool, so you can see. Got even chandeliers. 501st is walking. And so, that gives you a feel of being here at the show. So I'll be doing uh, interviews a little later. I'm gonna let Nikki and us. And us with, um, hi. Bye. <laughs>